Hi, I'm Sam from Sitecode and in this presentation we will tour the basic features added by Sitecode Rocks to Visual Studio. The new features increase our productivity and Sitecode development experience multifold. Once we install Sitecode Rocks in Visual Studio as plugin, we spot a new Sitecode menu. While some of the features added by Rocks are easily visible, others are hidden gems. In case you need to learn how to install Sitecore Rocks as Visual Studio plugin, please watch the video titled as Sitecore Rocks Visual Studio Plugin Installation on Sitecore CP Training YouTube channel. Let's begin our tour of Sitecore Rocks Visual Studio features. First of the most visual feature is the Sitecore menu. It contains most frequently used features such as installing and connecting to Sitecore. For a quick introduction to Sitecore menu, please watch the video titled as Sitecore menu introduction on Sitecore CP Training YouTube channel. Second, Sitecore Rocks also adds two Visual Studio project templates. The first one is for Sitecore Rocks plugin so that you may develop lightweight functionalities based on Rocks to extend the features available in Sitecore Rocks. The other project type that is Sitecore Rocks Server Components is used to develop the components of plugins required on server side. Third, Sitecore Rocks also adds various options for file types representing Sitecore presentation components or a feature. The files are listed in two groups. The first group that is Sitecore group has files related to presentation components and other assets for Sitecore development such as code generation to strongly type field names, Sitecore layouts, MVC renderings and so on. The second group that is Sitecore Rocks group has files and assets required for extending Sitecore Rocks such as content editor command, content tree command, pipeline process for various events. Fourth and the least obvious of all but the most powerful features are added to Visual Studio web application context menu. The context menu is available at project level as well as individual file level. The project context menu contains the commands to connect web application project to Sitecore instance. Once the web application and Sitecore instance are connected, you can seamlessly create presentation components along with matching definition items in a single go. We will explore presentation components in a separate discussion. The context menu available at file level provides ability to create items from file or bind files to items. It also has options to open, add, remove files to .sitecore file. The .sitecore file is used to store information about the connection and file tracking. Let me show you where to find all these cool rocks feature. As you see, I have the Sitecore 7 project open in Visual Studio. In case you would like to know how to create a Visual Studio project for Sitecore outside CMS root, please watch the video titled Creating Visual Studio Project for Sitecore outside CMS root on Sitecore CP Training YouTube channel. We will also need a connection to Sitecore instance. In case you need to learn how to create a connection to Sitecore using Sitecore Rocks, please watch the video titled Creating a Sitecore Rocks Connection on Sitecore CP Training YouTube channel. Assuming that you have the project in place, let's look at the features we have already discussed. The Sitecore Rock menu is the most visible of all and has options to create a new connection, open Sitecore Explorer, plugin libraries and a few more frequently used options. For a quick introduction to Sitecore menu, please watch the video titled Sitecore Menu Introduction on Sitecore CP Training YouTube channel. Let's now move to the second feature set that is the project type added by Sitecore Rocks. New project from the installed templates to Visual C Sharp. Select Sitecore Rocks. The first project template, Sitecore Rocks plugin, is to develop lightweight extensions based on Rocks. Some plugins, in order to achieve their functionality, may require a component to reside on server side. The Sitecore Rocks server component template is used exactly for the same purpose. As a rule, all the Sitecore Rocks server components assembly names must begin with Sitecore.rocks dot server. 
Let's move on to the third set of features. Right click on project, say add and choose a new item. Under Visual C Sharp, you will observe site code and site code rocks. Expand the site code node and we observe files to support code generation, layouts, MVC renderings, pipeline processors for various events, web form renderings, and so on. The second group, Psycho Rocks, has various command types, processors, things, and so on. Let's look at the final set of features added to Visual Studio, that is the project Sidecore context menu and the files Sidecore context menu. Right click on Sidecore 7 project, choose Sidecore and select connect to Sidecore Explorer connection. This opens select connections dialog. From the available connection, choose Sidecore 7. In case you would like to learn how to create a Sidecore Rocks connection, please watch the video titled Creating a Sidecore Rocks connection on Sidecore CP Training YouTube channel. My connection name in this case matches my project name. Select Sidecore 7 and say OK. The Visual Studio project is now connected to Sidecore. Right click on project again, choose Sidecore and this time we get to see a few more options. We can modify a connection, disconnect a connection, we can create items from files, we can add files to dot sidecore file we can open the dot sidecore file the dot sidecore file is a special file that keeps track of sidecore connection and tracks sidecore presentation components such as sub layout and layouts for name or path change in case you have added those files to the dot sidecore file now let's select a presentation component user control to understand the options available on context menu for files. We observe a couple of new options such as bind file to item, search for references to this file. If we select a bounded items, we get to see a few more options such as edit items, locate in Sidecore Explorer and deploy marked files. Well, seems lot to learn. We will do it slowly in our upcoming video series, so subscribe and stay tuned to Rocks. We welcome your comments and feedback on our YouTube channel Sidecore CP Training. Your wish, our command. Please share a topic or feature of your choice that you would like to learn next. Once again, I'm Sane from Sidecore. Thanks for watching.